Hi! In this video, I am going to show you how you can teach your students to use the CUPS editing system to edit a one-page paper or a paragraph in just five minutes. Now, if you're not familiar with CUPS, it's capitalization, usage, punctuation, and spelling. And this is a system I used in my third, fourth, and fifth grade classes. It was very successful, and after a few times, your students will be experts at editing their own papers, and they'll be turning in papers that look really great. So I'm going to start with the tools that I use, and these are the digital tools. Now you can also do the exact same thing on paper. All you need is colored strips that are transparent that the students can see through. These are our editing tool highlight sliders, and each one is a different color. If you follow me at all, you know I love color. It helps me organize things. So capitalization is yellow, usage is blue, punctuation is green, spelling is purple. And each of these digital tools can slide around, and through the transparency, the students can read whatever they wrote. And so these are what we're going to use. If you use them on uh, paper, you can take a piece of laminate or you can take um, a colored piece of um, laminate paper and use that along with a ruler or something else. Even the easy readers that come in the teacher supply catalogs that have the different color bars in the center will work. So you can do this digitally, as I'm going to show you here, or you can do it on paper as well. So here is the article that we're going to edit today. And this, of course, is fine here. There's no editing needed, whoops, except for um, the word dessert I just noticed was misspelled. Oh. I just realized this is the one that's incorrect. So I created one that's perfect and then I inserted a bunch of different mistakes for your students to find. So if your students are following along, we'll see if they can find any of it. Now I'm going to go over the system that I use before we start the editing. So here it is. It's in four steps. Each step is one minute. I would set a timer, and as soon as the timer went off, the students stopped. Now many students are very speedy at this, and they can finish in less than a minute. And if so, that gives them an opportunity to sit back and relax until the minute is up. The reason being is that if they finish super fast while they're waiting for uh, the timer to go off, they might actually look back again and find something else that they missed the first time. So each step is one minute. Step one is to slide the yellow capitalization highlighter bar to the paragraph you want to edit. And then they're going to read the article or story out loud in a soft voice. And this part is very important because when students reread their work out loud, they catch things. Maybe they're missing a word. Maybe uh, it sounds really strange, the usage that they used in a sentence. There are so many different things that they will catch while they're reading out loud. So that's an important part to this step. Then, if they see anything that should be capitalized and isn't, they mark it with a yellow highlight. And if anything is capitalized that should not be capitalized, they mark it too. And the critical thing is they do not stop to correct it. They simply mark it. That's how we can do this in one minute, because they do not need to stop and think about anything except does this need capitalization or no? And if they have any doubts, they just mark it. And if you're doing this on paper, you can mark it with a proofreading mark. It's a great way to teach proofreading marks to your students. So each student takes one minute to do one step. And then when they finish, if you want your students to give you a self-assessment, they can slide this bar over to this area leave it in the box that says I did great or I'm getting it or I need some help with this. So that's an option if you want to use it or not. Otherwise the student will just slide the bar back there when they're done. 
Now step two is the same, one minute. This time we're using the blue usage highlighter bar to the paragraph you want to edit. And in the beginning, when you're teaching these skills, you want to review with the students before each step what usage means, what gets capitalized, what are the four types of sentences and what type of punctuation do they receive, where do quotation marks go, that sort of thing. And then the instructions are the same, even though they've already read the article one time, they're going to read the article or story out loud again in a soft voice. And if anything doesn't sound correct, maybe there's subject verb disagreement, maybe they repeated a word twice, uh, they're going to mark it with a blue highlight. And if anything is repeated or admitted that should not be, they're going to mark that too. Once again, do not stop to correct anything, just mark it. And if your students have any doubts at all, they're not sure, just mark it. The object is to get through this paragraph or article in one minute. And again, if you're doing it on paper, they can go ahead and mark that with a proofreading mark. Step three is punctuation. And they're going to slide that green punctuation highlighter bar to the paragraph that they want to edit. And again, they're going to read that article or story out loud in a soft voice. And they mark anything that is incorrect with a green highlight and then they just keep going. They don't make any corrections, they just mark it and move on. And then the fourth step is also one minute and it is spelling. And this is where students would sometimes stop and try to fix the word. So once again, reiterate to your students, you do not stop to correct it. If it looks odd, if you aren't sure, just mark that word and you can check it for spelling after you get done with these four steps. Okay, so We've made it through the four steps, and now I'm going to show you what it looks like in action. Sorry, I'm going to backtrack a minute. Step five is they get to take their time and do a great job. So they're going to stop now. They're going to make their corrections. They're going to go through the article or the paragraph and correct anything that they have marked or highlighted. And then that's where this little handy tool comes in. Uh, these little red check marks. Once they finish correcting all of the capitalization, they move it on to the cap, the C. Once they finish the usage, they move it on down. And then finally, they're going to either recopy it if they're writing it by hand, or they're going to make sure it's a neat, clean final draft to hand in or publish if they're doing it digitally. So here we go. We're going to start right now and this should take a student about a minute to go through. This is the one that has the errors inserted into it. So I'm going to start with capitalization. First thing I'm going to do is say oh mysterious origins of the fortune cookie and I see that there are quite a few mistakes in my title so I'm going to go up here to the highlighter section and I'm going to highlight anything that should be capitalized. You don't even have to be super careful and capitalize everything neatly. Just, I, I'm sorry, highlight everything neatly. Just put that highlighter there so it catches your eye. Then the student moves on. You will be successful in everything you do. I see there's some punctuation missing, but I'm not looking at punctuation right now. I am only looking at capitalization. So I'm going to move on past that. You will will live a long and happy life. Okay, I also noticed a usage error here, but again, I'm working on capitalization. So I am going to pass by the other and I'm only going to highlight the capitalization. So you continue on through. Your student is continuing to go down through the entire article and read everything that has an error. So I'm just going to very quickly pretend that we're reading and I'm going to highlight all the mistakes. Uh, let's see, oh, United States, uh, the proper name of a place. 
and that would be it for the capitalization. So the capitalization looks good now. Now we're going to move on to the second step, which is usage. We're going to do that for another minute. Students are going to start right over again, read the title out loud. They're going to read each sentence out loud. Again, they're going to skip everything that's not related to usage. And here we go. Here's a problem with the usage. Here we put a word in twice. So we're going to go up here, change our highlight to blue, and highlight the word will. Whoop. And I'm going to hit the undo button there. And I'm going to try it again. Don't worry, your students will get the hang of this probably much faster than I do. Then we continue on reading. Oh, I see there's a spelling error here. However, I am not worried about spelling. I'm only worried about usage. So as I continue through, I'm reading it out loud. I go all the way down and I get to this line and I notice there are some serious problems with this sentence here. So in this case, I'm just going to highlight that whole section of the sentence because I'm going to have to fix all of that. Now I'm done and I'm either going to put this over here for my teacher or put it over here on the side. Now we're moving on to punctuation. Now I can pay attention to the punctuation in the first line. Again, I'm going to read it out loud, Mysterious Origins of the Fortune Cookie. You will be successful in everything you do. It's missing a period. I'm not going to put the period in though. What I'm going to do is mark that spot and it's green so I know it has to do with punctuation. And as I continue going through the article, I notice hmm, this sentence here is actually a question. It should have a question mark. This one should have a question mark. And then I move on and I see, oh, three periods. Got to mark that. And then this one is marked with a question mark, but it's not a question. So I'm going to highlight that as well. And after I get to the end, and I think I've found all of the punctuation errors, I slide my bar back and I move on to spelling as soon as the timer resets and I'm ready to go. So here we are with spelling. I go through, I read everything out loud again. I'm going through each line again, even though I've already read it three times and I find a spelling error. So I'm going to uh, mark my spot and head over here and get my purple highlighter and highlight money. I'm also going to highlight the other errors that are here. The fortune and of course desert. I'm going to highlight that one as well. So there we go and I'm going to unhighlight that C because that one does not need to be highlighted. Okay, so now spelling is all done. Now your students can sit back and relax, pat themselves on the back and say, whoo, what a good job I did. I'm so smart. Now's where the work begins though. Now they get to go back through and make those corrections. So first thing they're gonna work on is capitalization. Again, they're gonna do it in the exact same order. And they're going to start by correcting all of the errors. And then once they've corrected all the errors, they can just go back through and they can unhighlight. So I'm just going to do the capitalization. I'm not going to do it for each of the other items because you get the idea, but uh, now I'm going to unhighlight this because I did get it done. I did capitalize U. I did capitalize the first word here. And I did capitalize United States. So now my capitalization, whoops, sorry, I moved that all the way off the screen. Now my capitalization is done. And I am going to 
drag a red check mark over the C. So if I have a recess or a lunch break or I have to put this away until tomorrow, I know exactly what I've done, what's been completed. This is like a bookmark for your students if they aren't able to get all of the corrections made in one sitting. So once your students have completed all of the steps and corrected everything, they should have a beautiful paper for you that has no errors. And you will be absolutely amazed at how easily your students will take to this and how proud they feel when they realize that they can do their own editing using this system. So if you like this system, I have it included in all of my daily writing journals on Teachers Pay Teachers. And I also have these pieces available for you in my Building Strong Writers with Simple Systems course on Teachable. So I'll provide some links for you if you're interested in looking at that. If not, feel free to use this video in your classroom or anytime you want. And remember, you can do this on paper or digitally. It works either way. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you coming by my channel. And please don't forget to like and subscribe as well. All right, I'll see you in the next video.